Good day, folks, and thanks for tuning in to, uh, to my message today. Like I said in the title, the, the biggest obstacle and basically the only obstacle that Hylian has, and it's real, it's a real, it's a real problem, it's a real threat, don't kid yourself, is phony allies, fake allies, false allies, and phony virtue signaling power players, leadership, limp-wristed, weak-kneed, dishrag, limp-dishrag leadership. And it is a real problem, folks, because Hylian has the solutions. The solutions are proven. They have the, 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 the RNG is a clean fuel, natural gas, just strictly in its strictest form out of the ground is the cleanest fossil fuels of the ball. RNG, powering a generator to power an electric axle. It, it's a no-brainer solution. I talked about that before. The, the source of the energy is directly where the power is needed to be delivered to the axles. So, you're getting the electric solution. Electricity has to be produced somewhere, okay? The electricity is being produced on board by a generator that produces the electricity with the cleanest, cleanest possible fuel available to produce electricity. So folks, in a nutshell, it's a, it's, it's a no-brainer. So you have your power plant, let's say, your power plant is in immediate proximity to where the power is needed. Okay, so let's set that aside for a minute. With the electric vehicle push, they still need to get power somewhere. They need to plug in from power generated at a power plant. Most power plants are still generating power from coal, or even if they're using natural gas, it has to be hauled to the power plant. Okay, so you still need to get the electricity to be produced somewhere. So the produce electricity being further away from the vehicle is already causing more emissions, no matter what kind of fuel is used to produce the electricity. So the solution works. The solution works. Now, the problem is the only obstacle, the only obstacle to Hylion is virtue signalers phony virtual signalers and false allies. People that don't really want the solution to be successful because they want it to fit a particular narrative. There are, there are people in power play, places of power out there. Joe Biden, Justin Trudeau, they're weak. They're weak. And I'm sure there's other weak, weak leaders throughout the world. All they want to do or maybe not all they want to do, but a big part of what they want to do is go down in history and have a legacy of being the man. They want to be the man that sold the, sold the ship down the firm. As long as they produce the right virtue signal, they want to go down as the as the king of electric electrified vehicles. Uh, yeah, they want to go down with a legacy. And meanwhile, they're just going to be pushing up daisies. They're going to turn into compostable bullshit like everybody else. But anyway, folks... That's the only fear we have, is these phony, virtue signaling, bullshit, dishrag, limp-wristed leaders who really do not give two sweet fucks about the environment as much as they give about their own, their own legacy. And there's some players in the electric vehicle space that are the same. There's, there's that one that I talked about before at that, at that uh, symposium that was sitting at the at the w uh the world economic forum that was sitting next to to thomas healy that smart ass chessy cat who talked about oh thomas but your solution doesn't cut down on tailpipe emissions okay guys it's it's the whole life cycle of the pollution produced that matters okay these virtue signaling bullshit and bag licking bullshitters are our only obstacle they are the only thing that's in the way of highly unsucceeding. And it's a problem. Don't kid yourself. They are a problem. Until this product completely is able to plow through the bullshit and prove itself as the solution, and it's going to take 
a collective effort on all of us who are Hylian owners. We're Hylian business owners, so it's in our best interest to promote the business and cut through the bullshit and tell it like it is. Because we have the product, this is our company, we own it. So it's our company, we have to promote it, guys. And uh, yeah, so we gotta push hard, we gotta put the pedal on the metal, gotta put the foot on the floorboards. Thomas Healy and the team, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta champion for those guys. And those guys gotta be just as fucking tough and as brazen as the rest of us to get through the bullshit. It's the only way they're gonna do it. I know, I know Thomas is a soft-spoken guy, but there's gotta be some players in this game that that tell it like it is and push this product, man. You gotta push it with all of our might because it is the product. It is the solution for right now. Anyway, folks, that's all I got. And like I said, look out for these virtue signaling bag licking bullshitters because that's our only obstacle. The product has to rise from the ashes and speak for itself and I believe it will. Okay, folks, have a great day. Stay in the saddle, stay on the horse. And uh, yeah, let's keep pushing our product because it's our product. We own it. Okay, guys, have a great day.